All right, guys. All right, guys. This is Josh back at it with a video, another video, another banger. Uh, please check out the description for my workout plan, everything like that. I do hair content, I do body game content, I do workout content, and follow me on TikTok, everything like that. But let's get into this video. This and basically what I'm going to talk to you guys today about is body game and intimidation and attraction people are all either going to be intimidated by you or they're going to be attracted to you so you have to know the difference you have to know how to navigate between the two because there are slight differences and people may be confused on to which one they feel or which ones they you know what i'm saying how they behave so I always just look at their behavior and everything like that and this is what this video is going to do it's going to explain it and then tell you like pretty much the dangers of it so uh as you guys know like you know i'm in i practice body game whatever like that you know so i'm definitely in the gym um, I'm, I'm getting more consistent. I'm getting more built. My physique is coming along really, really well. We're going to start with intimidation first, kind of to show you like how to know when somebody is intimidated by you and what that means and pretty much how you need to interpret it to, you know what I'm saying, to lead a better life, to understand this new lifestyle that you're adopting, what's happening, because it's not really talked about too much. So with the intimidation factor, uh, if this is going to happen to you a lot, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. You, I said in previous videos, you pretty much change the dynamic. But when I say that you change the dynamic, that goes for everybody. So whether you walk into a room, whether you're walking into work, everything like that, like over time, you'll notice that people will have different comments about you. They'll say comments to you or you will overhear rumors even. And that's just basically that happens when people may be intimidated by you. If someone's talking behind your back or if someone is talking to you, talking about you to other people, they can't say it to you and they have to have strength in numbers. That is one of the biggest things when you're dealing with somebody who is intimidated by you. They can't fight you on a one on one. So they almost have to jump you and jump your character or destroy your character in order to change people's uh, opinion about you. You know what I'm saying? And, and if their opinion changes, they weren't really your friends or they weren't really, you know, on your side anyway. So that's actually revealing more uh, of that person than it is to you. So, um, but yeah, so you will, you will hear things like slick comments. You will think, uh, you will either get, you think you're better than everybody. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, you crave attention. You can either get taught, like said, like, okay, you are a home wrecker, different things like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? You just, you just stand out. And you know, when somebody's intimidated by you, you have to understand that body is strong. Health is wealth. I know we, uh, I talked about that in my comment section below, but it's just like when you, the healthier you are, you have to understand that health is one of the most expensive things on this planet. If you cannot wake up, you cannot make money. You can't spend money. And you know what I'm saying? Being in the hospital, doing all that, you know, it's not, it's not a good feeling. So when you are healthy or when you are working on yourself and when you are working on yourself daily, people are going to feel away because that is a form of currency. Other people will see that as a strength for you. So when you are working on your body and if somebody is attracted to the physical, that's going to be more attraction. That's going to be more eyes to you. And not everybody's going to feel happy for you. You know what I'm saying? It could be like even bosses. It can be different things because maybe your boss wants to talk to a woman in the office and that woman is now looking for you because your body is just ripped. You're shredded. You know what I'm saying? Or you've just been losing weight. You, you were already handsome before, but now you're handsome and in shape. And it's like, it's changing the dynamic of like, well, of your attraction level, you know what I'm saying? Instead of you being like a like like at a lower level, now you're at a higher level. You know what I'm saying? Now other women are checking checking for you, and then you know what I'm saying. When women, if one woman is looking for you, other women are going to be looking for you because it's almost like, you know, how what's so special about them? You know what I'm saying? You get that? What's so special? And people will feel intimidated, especially if they the guy felt like he was the the top dog in the office or he was like the most successful in the office, made the most money. It kind of confuses people when you're able to not make as much, but still attract people in a way without your without your wallet. You know what I'm saying? Because it's more of a natural uh, selection. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, the survival of the fittest. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to have the, the fanciest car. You don't have to have like the nicest clothes and everything. You're just being you and your body is speaking volumes for you. You know what I'm saying? So people will be intimidated. Um, and I, I tell you guys this because it starts off as comments, but intimidation can turn into envy very quick. You know what I'm saying? Because first it sometimes it could be admiration. Then it could turn to intimidation and then it can turn to envy. And you know what I'm saying? Envy is very, very dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know how somebody is taking you. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how somebody is like, okay, do they love you or do they hate you? It's like a combination of both. 
And as humans, we can't decipher that. You know what I'm saying? You can either um, drive yourself crazy. It can switch. And you never know how somebody's feeling. And that's not how you want to go about when you're dealing with people. You don't want to have somebody hot one day, cold the next day. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's not a good feeling. And then that envy can build and build. And it can become so strong that, you know what I'm saying, they can unalive you. You know what I mean? So between intimidation and attraction two different feelings that you'll notice with body game is either somebody is going to show like a lot of admiration they're going to be attracted to you they're going to be on your you know what i'm saying close to you and trying to get learn more about you or somebody's going to be intimidated you know what i mean like so you have to understand that not everybody is attracted to you positively you know what I'm saying? Somebody may be obsessed with you, but in a negative way to sabotage you or to tear you down or to, you know, cut you down to size. So you have to understand that when you are practicing body game and when you are intimidating people or when you are getting all the girls or when you are working on your body, you're getting the looks. Not every look is positive. You're saying we have things like evil eye. You know what I'm saying? People like just hating you you know say really really hating you giving you that eye contact those nasty stares those nasty looks and that's something that's going to happen to you you know what i mean like for me i don't really deal with that much because it's like i think i practice body games so much people understand that i'm gonna be able to read a dirty look so i may address it and they don't know how i'm gonna address it they don't know if i'm gonna be physical with them verbal so it's just like the more you practice body game the more cautious a person is how they interact with you but when you're first starting out they may say slick comments to you they may say rude things to you they may try to tear you down you know what i'm saying they may tell you okay you don't even make that much money you're not even this this type this this you know what I'm saying what makes you think you can you are better than me so just just be mindful of the comments like when you hear it understand it but understand it is that you're growing especially if you weren't getting those comments before understand you're doing something right and people are hating on you just because you are in power. Your body is power. You know what I'm saying? Health is wealth. When you are working on yourself, when you are getting better, people will see that and they want that. You know what I'm saying? That's why that comes with like the intimidation. It comes from like admiration. You know what I'm saying? People are like, well, I want my body to look like that. Or they may be jealous, but they can't let it intimidate you like as a human being you have to understand if you have those feelings you do not turn that into hate you know what i'm saying just congratulate be be proud of that person you know what i'm saying don't covet what somebody else has like don't want what somebody else has don't be jealous don't be envious because that's not a good spirit to have that's not a good energy to have either so just understand when you see that because that intimidation thing is strong man like when i was saying like walking into different rooms or you know people may treat you differently family may tr treat you differently because when you, when i see you change the dynamic now of you of you being somebody that they don't have to worry about now they may see you as competition they may see somebody okay this is somebody that i have to do better than you know what i'm saying or this person now more people are going to like you and now i'm getting i'm not getting as much attention as i had before like i'm not getting the same amount of eyes you know what i'm saying or i feel like you can you can get better than me you know what i'm saying you can get better women than me or you can get better things than me or better opportunities and people if they don't feel like they can amount to that they'll hate you for it and it's solely something that you can't even control. This is something that you're working on you. But that's how powerful it is. It's an energy. It's a it's a stance. It's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a belief. It's a lifestyle. And when people see that, they will get scared. You know what I'm saying? They will have their tail behind their legs because this is like, it's like, dang, like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not as focused or I'm comparing myself to you. And you know what I'm saying? Comparison is a thief of joy. So you have to understand when somebody is comparing themselves, they're not happy. You know what I'm saying? You have to cut that energy out right away because that can get dangerous. And I don't want you guys to underestimate somebody's level of envy or under, underestimate somebody's level of intimidation because it is dangerous. And not all eyes are all not all attention is good attention. You know what I'm saying? I, I really want to bring this to your attention because a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, I want my body to be perfect. I want to do this. But, you know, what I'm saying with level of attraction, level of like, uh, you know, what I'm saying beauty or level of like body game it comes with a price you know what i'm saying not everybody's gonna be happy for you not everybody's gonna want to see you win and people will knock you down till you can't get up anymore you know what i mean so you have to have that armor around your heart you know what i'm saying you have to be strong because this is going to be a daily occurrence there's going to be new people doing it. it's going to be older people doing it and it's just like it'll kind of confuse you because it's like you're just getting constantly hit with shots and it's something new but just understand that you are working yourself you are becoming better
and you have to keep going you know what i mean so definitely i want to make that video just to tell you guys this it is a difference between intimidation and attraction and you need to be able to read a person correctly when dealing with body game because man you never know what limp somebody can go and i never want you guys to be on the opposite spectrum on that because you know what i'm saying this is a very serious matter but uh other than that that's the end of the video if you do like videos like this more psychology on body game or like more understanding of physicality in the men's space please subscribe like the video i will have more videos like this and i will go in more details so definitely like the video subscribe comment any comments down below i will answer them and if you have a video suggestion let me know and then yeah i'm out thanks so much for watching i'll see you in my next video <laughs>